Hi guys and welcome to the second part of painting Rubric Marines. So we're going from our previous video, part one, and we're going to be taking that through to completion. So just as a reminder then, this is where we got to last time. So we completed the gold and we've done most of the blue work. So we're now going to be highlighting up the blue. So I'm just going over the original blue that we'd washed with Nolan Oil back with Thousand Suns Blue. Avoiding those uh, dark recesses that we'd already uh, shaded. So just blocking in areas of blue just to bring it back up to a slightly better brightness so you haven't got the darker wash on the highlighted areas. So on those curved leg panels I'm looking for the centre parts. Um, if you imagine how a cylinder would highlight it wouldn't go all the way to the edges it would be more focused in the middle so I've aimed the highlight there in a in the way that you would highlight a, a cylinder. So it's more focused at the middle um, part of the leg. This is quite a tricky bit so uh, I had to hold it a bit closer to my head rather than the camera. Apologies for that. So what I'm now doing is I've mixed a bit of Thousand Suns Blue with a little bit of uh, Araman Blue. It's probably maybe a th 3 to 1 mix here. And just going back over the blue again, but not quite as much as the original layer of Thousand Suns Blue. So just picking out more of the centre of the leg, more of the upper and frontal parts of the shoulder pauldrons just to bring up a little bit of uh, first stage highlights. The toes are reasonably self-explanatory, you're just looking for the, the peaks of the boots. And here as I didn't know what colour I was going to go with on the headdress, whether I was going to go with the traditional yellow and blue or not, I've just highlighted all of them as blue, just in case I do something else. Now I've mixed a little bit more of the Araman Blue in this time. So we're probably about one to three. So uh, one part Thousand Suns Blue and three parts Araman Blue. And this time picking up the final stage highlight really. Just going for the edges of the uh, headdress there. The tips of those parts of the backpack, the exhaust parts of the backpack. You can see it's a little bit quicker this process here because you're, you're picking out a lot less of the model. Okay, the final stage of highlight then I'm going with a, a fine line edge highlight here. So this is taking the original mix of paint that we had a minute ago, the one to three mix, and then adding some white. So it's probably now two parts white, one part Thousand Suns, three parts Aram and Blue. I'm just doing a fine line edge highlight just to, I mean they're only infantry, it does make it pop a little bit, it's a little bit artificial I find, certainly in some places like the shoulder portraits and stuff but the, uh, the sharper edges it's okay on. Using a really fine brush here, I think this is a 3 or a 4 zero brush. Just the very edges of the uh, headdress there. I find if I find any make any mistakes here um, with that fine edge, you can always, as long as you've still got that paint from uh, before, you can just sort of touch up the areas, make sure you haven't gone completely overkill. It's easy to slip doing those fine edge highlights. You have to brace your hands quite heavily against the model, make sure you've got ultimate control. And now we're moving on to some details, so we're now getting the yellow in. So I am going to go with yellow and blue, just quite traditional colours, so I've just picked out every other band. And just going with a sunset yellow from Vallejo Games. I'm also picking out some of the, the stripy parts of the legs, which are part of the detail of the model. 
just to carry over some colour into the rest of the model. So with that darker yellow, I'm now going with a brighter yellow and just picking out some highlights on that yellow. Doesn't really matter what yellows you've got, just go with whatever you've got available, whether it's Games Workshop or Vallejo or any other brand. As long as you've got two different tones, one slightly darker than the other, that's perfect. So now moving on to the loincloth areas. So I'm starting off with a cold grey. So I'm just blocking in all of the cloth area in cold grey. It takes two or three coats, I think, to cover the, the, uh, the gold prime or the gold undercoat. And then once you've done all of those, it's now back onto the old faithful of non oil and giving that a good wash, making sure that it goes into the recesses and forms a decent line between the gold edging and the actual tabard itself. You can see I'm focusing that brushwork really at the bottom there, just to give some good definition. Don't forget to squeeze between his legs as it were and uh, get the back of the tabard and now moving on to a lighter grey and now once the uh, the wash is completely dried you have to make sure that it is dried otherwise it will just bleed all over the place going back over the main parts of the, the tabard, the cloth just ignoring where you've already put the wash. This is a stone grey mix. So it's probably going 50-50 I think here with the original cold grey and stone grey here. This time I'm sort of picking out some of the areas of highlights. This is quite a thin uh, mix, there's quite a lot of water in this just to enable a little bit of uh, blending uh, as I go through subsequent layers. So the first coat definitely won't um, it won't cut it, it won't cover the original grey. Might look like it on the camera, but it's quite thin in uh, its density. So, this is going to take two or three coats. And here we go, moving on to the second one. This time, focusing not all the way to the bottom, enabling a slight blend on the greys. Keeping the, uh, the edges nice and crisp and highlighted, though. Trying to avoid not getting any ground to his legs as you uh, paint the rear of the tabard. And finally a small edge highlight of white. Pretty happy with that. So now I'm just going to paint in some of the black details for some of the chest strapping and any of the other black black or grey components. So here I'm just focusing on the uh, chest straps that some of the torsos come with. And then I'll also be painting in the black vents and cabling on the back of the backpack and then into some of the leg greaves there. Just where the armoured cabling would be between the thigh and lower leg. As I said, just painting in those exhausts on the backpack. I did have a bit of a camera fail, so I have failed to record the first part of the purple here, but this was a Warlock purple washed with Nolan oil and then brought up gradually with Warlock purple and, and some pink. Uh, unfortunately my camera, I didn't turn it on or something went wrong and uh, I didn't complete all the stages here, but it was an edge highlight along that large seam that you can see highlighted in light. And that was pretty much it. Quite a thin coat, uh, thin paint. This one, so it did take several layers to complete. Anyway, so that's all the models done, bar the glaringly obvious weapons. Um, so it's just a case of finishing the bolt guns off, and then we're good to go. So I primed the bolt guns black and sprayed with gold, um, just as I did with the first part of the models themselves. The gold was then given a wash um, just as the gold was earlier and then it's a case of repeating the process that we did with the Thousand Suns bodies, so that's a dry brush of two different shades of gold and then uh, a very fine dry brush of chainmail silver. Uh, 
And then the only other detail that I did actually add was some grey and some metallics just at the back end of the bolters. Um, very simple, I didn't actually record that bit either for some bizarre reason. Um, but here we go, here's some final shots of the models now. You notice that I haven't done any basing at all. Um, oh, there's the uh, back of the cloak that I had finished in the end that we didn't see earlier. Um, I haven't based it as I don't know the theme of the basing that I want to do across the entire army. So I'm going to leave that to the very end. Uh, as a friend of mine at White Shark Gaming is going to sort me out with some bases. And uh, check out his link, I shall put that in the description below the video. And I've also applied some transfers to the left shoulder and hand painted the eye symbol on the right. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's the first squad of 10 complete. I'll be moving on to the next model shortly. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you like the video and you want to see more and get notifications and everything. And I'll see you on the next video.